Alright, we're back out on the farm today. Today we're going to be putting in our sorghum and we're doing this for a couple of reasons. Um, mainly on some of them is just to block our access. So we're using a taller variety as well as um, a grain sorghum variety. So like on one of the fields that we're going to show you, we're going to put strips in that will hide our access to the blind and also we're going to do a couple of strips going the other way to hide it from the road. And so what we're doing is we're planting it actually with our John Deere 7000 series that we use to plant all of our beans and all of our corn. We got a killer deal on it and it's a pretty slick rig. But I was able to pick up grain sorghum uh, plates for the Kinsey meters. So it should make this really easy. So all we're going to do is plant some of this taller. This is like a, this is Northwood's plot screen and this is like a tall sorghum. It's supposed to be one of the better standing annual screens. So we're gonna put these, we're gonna split this bag between the three outer rows and that should give us a good screen. And then the rest of them we're gonna plant grain sorghum. And by the time this stuff runs out, we'll switch all the rows to the grain sorghum and, cause we're also doing some dedicated sorghum plots. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna start filling up and getting to work here. Doesn't look like a lot of seed, but there's a lot of them in this little bag, I guess. Actually, if I do a half a bag, it would be about right. Well, you probably can't hear me too well, but switchgrass that you till first, you prepare really well, and then you broadcast in, they do much better. So Hunter's gonna show you, this was two or three years ago? Two. Two years ago? Three. Yeah, three. Three years ago, and then that one was, Two, last yeah, yeah last, last spring or two springs ago so everything the switchgrass i know we planted some we haven't said anything about it but you can see the stuff's getting thick and it's going to be really tall this year it takes a while to establish but i wanted to point that out because i'm pretty impressed with these switchgrass fields oh, especially that new one yeah this is kind of bare right here but the screen is going to be pretty nuts Yeah, so we're in the early part of June and it's already almost chest high. I'm short, but you know, it'll get five foot, six foot tall this year at least. So this strip is pretty much weed free. So it's just pretty awesome. I'll show you that new field too. So we had kind of cove that we did in switchgrass because our access is from down in there. Then we also ran a thin strip along this edge. We've accidentally killed about half of it, so we don't have too much left, but that's going to help block our access. And then we're going to put a sorghum screen down this edge too. And there's almost like a little ditch here that we'll be able to sneak in and out behind. And so then to get from this point to the blind where we're going to kill a big buck, we need a screen that goes through the beans. So that's what Trevor is working on right now. Should be. I can check, see if I can see some seed. So he's splitting the rows. These beans are on up ready, so we're not even gonna kill them, but he's driving over them and the sorghum should be able to get up over them because they're planting them between the rows. So the we got the tall stuff up here. Putting the tall stuff up on the high side so that it blocks us better when we're down there sneaking into our screen to get in and out of the blind. And also to help block this plot from the road it's about 400 yards off the road 300 yards so he's gonna do one more strip because we have a strip of missed beans right here so he's gonna move over put one more strip down here just to give a little bit more screening from the road and I think that's all we're gonna do in this one
So we also screened the blinds in front of them so we can get up and down the ladder. So all I did was, actually last weekend we tilled it and tilling it, roto tilling it like that usually kills the weeds pretty good. I tilled it again, spread the seed and then lightly tilled it over top of the seed and then drove over it with tractor tires to get press it down and firm up the seed bed a little bit. So now all we need is rain. Trevor's finishing up. I'm going to go get the sprayer and spray some of the areas that we're planting the sorghum where uh, we don't have beans because that hasn't been sprayed yet. So, Well, that officially wraps up our 2021 spring planting. Got in probably about five acres of sorghum between the strips and screens and uh, a few dedicated grain sorghum plots. So it'll be inter interesting to see how they use those. Um, and if they actually will eat them, I'm hoping they do. Just add a little bit more late season food. But all in all, went pretty well today. Got some more spraying in and excited to get some cameras out here soon. And we probably won't do that till after the 4th of July. We'll probably do like one more round of minerals and put the cameras out. So be really excited to see what bucks are coming up. Drove by last night and saw a really big body deer just across the road. So it was pretty exciting. But anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.